Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday, and this is the Hackaday Belgrade Conference Badge. Hackaday Belgrade is our premier European hardware conference, held this May 26th in Belgrade, Serbia. For more information, go to hackaday.io forward slash Belgrade. But for right now, let's take a look at all the fun that's waiting for you inside of this unique piece of hardware. Voya Antonish is responsible for the hardware design of this badge, and it's absolutely beautiful. When you think of a retro computer, you think of uh, key clicky keyboards, and this certainly has a clicky keyboard with 55... Uh, tactile buttons as the keyboard. And you can see the letters are in the uh, silk screen on there to help you out. It also has a uh, an expansion header up here which allows you to program the badge with a programmer uh, but also acts as a serial port for saving and loading basic programs and um, X modem uh, through CPM. And uh, you can also get uh, I squared C and a little bit of um, GPIO off of this header as well. This screen is a 320 by 240 color LCD and there's a um, RGB LED module right here. On the back you can see all of the driver hardware. It runs off of a PIC32 processor and has an external flash chip 2 megabits right there and we use that to store basic programs and uh, CPM programs. Uh, but probably the coolest thing on this badge is right here. This is actually a um, PCB mounted speaker and you can see the uh, amplifier that's driving it. Uh, let's turn it on and take a look at some of the uh, software that's going on in this badge. We start off with a boot animation that says Hackaday Belgrade, uh, and this firmware project is being headed up by Yaromir Sukuba, who's been doing an amazing amount of work getting everything running. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is the basic interpreter, and so you can um, you know, do your nor normal basic operations here. You can list out your program, you can you know, you know, type in the line numbers and do different things that way. Um, but I'd really like to show you what it sounds like. So here's a basic program that we're working on. You can see that this uses scripting language that was actually developed by Voya and Honish. So I'll go ahead and break on that one and uh, we can actually load a different program. So say there are 16 load slots. So saving and loading to um, zero through 15 will get you um, a bunch of different programs. Uh, the other thing that we have is we do have uh, EGA 16 bit color on this screen and um, the extended ASCII character set. And so here's just a little demonstration um, with a delay in there. There's also a lot of other things that you would need like random and the ability to address, you know, clear the screen and address different places. The way that this is set up is um, it is a VT100 screen. It's 40 characters by 20 characters. And you can turn that off if you want to write your own um, code and, and refresh the display yourself. Um, that'll all be detailed in the project repository itself. Now, a retro computer wouldn't stop at basic. Uh, one of the things that you wonder with re retro computers is does it run CPM, which is a very popular operating system. Um, and yes, it does. Your armor got that working. So we can look in here. Um, there are several drives. You can see on the B drive here, there is X modem, that's XMDM. And that allows you um, through the serial header to load and save programs. One of them that I tested out with is of course, um, my favorite, Zork. And you can see Zork load up. We can open the mailbox, which is what you always want to start off with. and read the pamphlet. One of the things I always liked about Zork is that uh, when you do go to quit the game, it'll tell you what your score is, which is kind of fun. So it'll be interesting to see how far people get on this um, during the day. I got a score of zero, but I think that's just fine. I'm really excited to see what people do hacking this badge. We're actually turning the, con the evening part of the conference into a hardware hacking village. And so we'll clear out plenty of area for people to sit down next to one another and have a ton of fun seeing what they can do with this badge. And that can be done um, using basic um, for music or for games or for video. Um, you know, there's a lot of demo scene opportunity there. Um, it can also be done with C. And if you're gonna do it in C, you wanna make sure that you bring along a uh, some type of pick programmer like one of these um, if you have one we will have a few at the conference as well and then for um, you know a little bit easier ability to load things on and off of the badge if you do have a USB to uh, TTL serial bring that along because that's going to be um, quite helpful in getting things either through X modem onto CPM um, or saving and loading the basic programs that you're um, 
programming. As you can see, there's an incredible amount of hacking potential in this badge, and we can't wait to see what people come up with during the conference. We hope to see you at Hackaday Belgrade.